Hey guys, it's Nick. Welcome to another episode of TMOS 365. In today's lesson, I'm going to be covering Azure Identity Protection within the Azure Active Directory Admin Center. Identity Protection is a tool that Microsoft created here to help you automate the detection and remediation of identity-based risk. They're leveraging the trillions of signals that they get across all the identities that they manage today to identify users who might be at risk. And these things could include detections from things like anonymous IP addresses, atypical travel, malware linked to those IP addresses, unfamiliar sign-in properties, leak credentials on the dark web, and things like that. They're immediately correlating that to users to define a certain risk level, and then you as the administrator are able to put policies in place to take certain actions once those risk levels are met. And we'll see more of that here as we investigate the service itself, but within the admin center, you're gonna to wanna to come under the all services section and then click on Azure Identity Protection here. And within here, you get a dashboard view when you come in to this particular section. And if you've been leveraging the service, this will have telemetry from the previous dates. Otherwise, if you're net new to setting this up, you're going to have this initial configuration and then you'll start getting this telemetry to come through. But basically here, we're looking at a couple of different things, one of which is the risky users that would be within your organization, the other of which is risky sign-ins as well too. Those may be coming from service accounts and external users potentially that might be guests within your organization and things like that. So here's just a dashboard view we can see of the count for new risky users detected and new risky sign-ins detected. You are able to dive in and see more of the reports around those users as well too. And you can see a risk state. So that is to say that Andrew here is at risk and he has a risk level of high. You can click into his name here and you can see more metadata about him, such as his basic info and also the risky sign-ins. And looking at these sign-ins, you can see the application that he was signing into, the state, the IP address, locations, things like that. And you can click into these fields here to bring up more of the risky sign-in page here, which is where you would be able to see this report and get more information about the risk info. And in this case, he's signing in from an anonymous IP address. And you can see any MFA information, which he did not use to sign in with here. You can go in and you can see more of the user sign-in events again here in a consolidated view, which will just show you this and show you the applications as well. So ultimately the summary there is just that you get the full leverage to go ahead and traverse and see a lot of metadata to investigate what might be going on here with this user. You could dismiss the user risk level as being a false positive if you wanted to, or you could also confirm users compromised as well which would immediately move the risk level into a high state. Now with that, you're able to protect them in an automated fashion with certain policies that you set up and put into place. And in this case, I have some preset policies here for the sake of this demo, just to show you the power of what it can do. The assignments here, you're scoping this to certain users in your organization. You're defining a user risk level to enforce certain controls. In this case, we're forcing a password change for this user if they become in a high risk state. So it's gonna require them to put in their existing password as well as set up a new password as well too. Sign in risk policy here, another control we put into place is to require multi-factor authentication if their sign in risk is high. So this should help with remediating in a potential malicious activity that may come up due to the telemetry that we're getting from Microsoft about what is correlating into a risky user that's signing in uh, or a session uh, that's signing in from a service account or something like that you might have within your organization. So these reports here we viewed as well. You can also see the risky sign-ins and you can filter these as well too. You can investigate these over time and you can download these as well too. You also have notifications that are going out to the admins uh, by default within the organization. You could also add other members of the organization to get these digest. You could also get weekly digest here as well, um, which basically summarizes any new activity that might be going on. Ideally, you'd want to reduce alert fatigue and just get some summary of any users who are increasingly at risk or obviously higher at risk users that you may want to take more protective measures on. All this information can be exported and put into a third-party SIM tool, or it can be connected to Azure Sentinel, and you can stream that data from there as well too. 
Finally, this does uniquely pair with conditional access policies within Microsoft Azure Active Directory. If you were to go in here and actually modify or create a new policy, you can go in and you could set the conditions here and you can say the sign in risk or the user risk is at a certain level. And that does allow you to put more controls versus just the one policy you put into place, which is to reset the password or, or force MFA. You could say if they're at a high session risk, you just don't allow them to sign in at all until you determine that they are uniquely taking the right controls and parameters to basically get their self back into a healthy state and you've done everything necessary to do so and you've investigated any further breaches from somebody potentially moving laterally if that user was compromised in any way. So a really powerful security feature that's part of Azure Active Directory Plan 2. And that's everything that I wanted to showcase for you guys in today's video. Stay tuned for my next lesson. We'll be going over privileged identity management with Microsoft Azure Active Directory as well. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.